Hello, accountability buddies. This is Les with Less is More Healthy, and welcome to one of my first reviews of something other than food or cameras for this channel. Uh, so, with type 2 diabetes, uh, food care is incredibly important, and the choice of shoes and socks is very important. So, with any sort of diabetes, um, if you get a sore on your foot, it can become infected very, very easily and you may not feel it. Um, I am not someone who has any sort of the nerve damage in my feet or, or fingers yet, but that is something that can occur as the disease progresses. Um, so I'm already thinking about making good choices when it comes to socks. So yeah, this is a review on a couple different pairs of socks. Uh, so it's sort of an overview type thing. So I've, uh, as I've said on the channel before, uh, for fall, winter, and much of the spring, I wear wool socks. Um, and those wool socks range from hiking socks made out of smart wool to uh, dress socks, wool socks made for, for wearing when you're dressing up. Um, the thing that all of those socks have is a in common is a flat seam across the toes. Um, and so especially as I'm engaging in more hiking and walking and cycling, that's even more important. A small lump in that seam will rub on a toe and cause a blister, which can then very easily get infected. Um, and so when I buy socks, I'm I'm thinking about like, what's that toe seam feel like? Um, which is a very strange combination of words, toe seam, seam across the toes. Um, also the seam in the heel is important. Um, and I've been pretty fortunate that most of the socks that I've purchased over the last 10 years or so don't have much of a seam in the toe. Um, but I recently purchased some new socks for summer um, because all of my old socks that I've been wearing for years and years and years at this point, um, have all worn out. They've lost their elasticity. Um, and in the summer I do wear a short, uh, no see sock typically so that they're kind of hidden down in my sneaker. Um, those are just more comfortable for me. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, all of my socks kind of went bad all at once. Um, so I purchased some new socks and I tend to buy, 12 pairs of socks at the same time. And so I was in Walmart and I picked up, uh, there's dog hair on these because my dog sheds and they're black. So they show up. I picked up a six pack of these Reebok. Um, I'm not even sure of what the thing they are, um, but they're Reebok, um, socks. Um, and they were in labeled some sort of athletic thing. They have this like gray and red, um, pattern. Some of them have a different kind of gray pattern on them. Um, these fit really well. They're like a little low rise heel, but what's really important about them is that there's no kind of lump here on the toe. Um, this is really flat on the other side as well. Um, and when I turn it inside out, uh, you can see that that seam, once I can get it flipped, is relatively flat. Um, and for type two diabetes, that's hugely important, um, because there's nothing there when I'm, uh, well, this one has a little bit, there's like a little bit of a raised bump, um, there where the seam ends. Um, but with this sock, I don't notice any discomfort, um, from that. Um, I've been wearing these now for about a month and I know I don't notice any discomfort. They fit really well. Um, it, those, even those tiny bumps aren't irritating my toes. Um, and even though I don't have any sort of that diabetic nerve damage yet, um, I am checking my feet on a regular basis. You know, I'm taking care of my toenails. I'm taking care of my toes and my feet because that's important. Um, so yeah, I, I would say that, um, for what, however much I paid for these at Walmart, these Reebok, Reebok socks, um, have been a pretty good value. Um, 
in terms of like cost and whatnot. And yeah, they're a cotton blend sock, which, you know, some people will tell you are like the most horrific thing you could ever think of wearing for athletics and you should only ever wear merino wool. Well, if you're made out of money, that's fantastic. Um, but for everyone else, um, these cotton blend, um, mixed, whatever they're made out of, probably polyester and some sort of elastic polymer. Um, these are great. Um, so yeah, those Reebok socks from Walmart, thumbs up. Then, so because there was, this was only a six pack and they didn't have a second one, I bought only the six pack of those. Um, and then I happened to be in Target as you do. Um, and when I was in Target, I was like, oh, I, I only got a six pack of socks. So I went into the men's, uh, sock section and sock and underwear section. And I picked up another pair, six pack of socks. And for this one, um, I picked up the Hanes X temp sock. Um, because again, it was, it was billed as a sock for athletic use. Um, and it has this sort of, um, this sort of extra stretchy section here. Then there's this like special knit area here to give a little more, uh, stretch and con like, I don't think it's supposed to pull it around tighter around the top of your foot or whatever. And then it's got a, a thinner section here for sweat wicking and, you know, airflow and whatnot. Um, and these are terrible. Uh, they fit terribly. They, um, have giant like lumps at the seams. So, um, where the other socks and really when I flip them inside out, um, that seam doesn't feel all that much bigger than the Reebok sock. Um, but for whatever reason, these actually, that looks huge. That's, that's a gargantuan seam. Um, those seam ends rub on my little toes, like you would not believe it's, it's extremely uncomfortable. Um, and even when I'm not walking, these socks are awful. Um, I have to take my shoe off on a regular basis and, and move the sock around to get those seams off my toes. And sometimes the, the lump rubs on my big toe. So these, um, I do not ever wear these when I am doing a lengthy walk. Uh, I do not ever wear these when I'm cycling because that, that rubbing on my little toe is so uncomfortable, um, that it does become painful. So, and then I'm like stopping every mile to get the lump off my toe. And if I hadn't thrown out the packaging, I would return these. These, uh, they were like $12 for six. Well, that's not expensive. Um, they're just a terrible sock. Um, you know, they, the, and I, I think these would even be a terrible sock for someone without type two diabetes. Cause whether I have type two diabetes or not, that rubbing on my little toe is horribly uncomfortable. Um, and it doesn't matter what shoe I'm wearing, it rubs. The only shoes it doesn't rub is wearing when I'm wearing Chaco sandals. So I have some slides, Chaco slides. And when I slide into these, slide into those with these on, those are the only shoes I own. These do not rub with. They rub with my Adidas. They rub with my Merrill and Tora twos. Um, they're just horrible socks. So uh, thumbs down. So, uh, that's my sock review. <laughs> um, so if you're gonna, if you have a choice of two socks or two types of socks, go to Walmart, get the Reebok socks, order the Reebok socks online, um, and avoid the Hanes X temps for their giant, uncomfortable toe seams, which is again, a weird turn of phrase toe seams. Anyhow, uh, with that, Thank you for watching. I hope you found the sock review helpful and I'll see you next time with another review or blog. Thanks and bye.